Good morning. Just making our way, Gage and I, back into the 1880s rail station, which is no more. Got the detector. But the plan today is to just do a bit more exploring, maybe even just with my shovel. <laughs> I'm gonna look in the creek and around the creek. I found pottery and stuff in there before. I'm not sure if I'm gonna bring the detector or not. All colors are starting. There it is. That is where the old 1880 rail station was, right here. You'd never know it nowadays. Nothing here now. Not sure how much reason there is to bring the detector because of all the grass this time of year. It's waist high. Hey Gage, right over your head. I was gonna get lazy there guys. I was gonna put my truck key in my cargo pants. Not a good idea. I'll show you what you do. Inside my pack sack there is a hook and I always clip my keys on there So you know what stick to your routine do the same thing every time there is a chance it could come out of here I mean, it's a small chance, but why take any chance right if I clip it in there? It's never gonna come out of there. The other thing is tell your Adventuring group, you know, where are the truck keys in case something happens to you? Gage the truck key is in my pack sack buddy. I get the feeling I'm gonna be carrying this detector more than using it. The first place I wanna go is over here, there's a, a lip that drops down into a valley in the creek and the rail station used to dump all their garbage there. So 1880s garbage, we have detected there before, but I just wanna see with my eyeballs and maybe the shovel, dig into the bank a little bit, what kind of bottles are there? We know there's old glass, like 1880s glass. Let's go check it out. You wouldn't be doing any detecting out in this field today, that's for sure. So back in here at the bush line, there's a big drop off. And that's where they dumped all the garbage. All right, we're at the back of the field. And then right here is a humongous drop off and we know there are bottles and stuff just thrown down in here. In fact, I can see glass right there. So let's just take a look, see what we can find. Very thick and dirty in here. Now, I was gonna say I'm not seeing too much, but then I looked right here There's an old boot, part of one. All right, here is a piece of pottery. Teacup or something. Down at the bottom of the hill down there, I can see lots of glass and stuff, but I want to check this hillside because I don't think it's ever really been done. All right, I see something interesting right here. 1800s glass right here. Look at the color of that. Look at the top of that. Gage has found the water down there. He's swimming circles, so I'll just let him do his thing while I'm hunting away up here. Oh, well, Javex. I think that's an old drinking glass off the train. 
super steep and slippery right here guys I just about went right down the hill gotta be careful of course 99% of all this stuff is broken All right, Libby McNeil Limited, Canada, 1932. So I'm assuming that's a drink of some kind. I don't care if every piece we find today is broken, guys. It's inspiring to me to be out here with this 100, 130 year old stuff. You never know what we're gonna find. Just to be out here exploring and looking, adventuring, that's why I do this. It's not to bring treasure home. It's just to get out here, get some exercise, and have fun. You having a good swim down there, buddy? Well, I don't know what it is. I do see words on there, but I think it's in French. Well, I don't know what that was, but it had a pretty tin, whatever it was back in the day. So I just walked over there another 15 feet and there's no glass, there's nothing. I think it's just a very narrow section right here where the garbage was thrown down the hill from right there. I have also gone 25 feet over that way. I didn't see much over there either. So I think it's just this one slide right here. Yeah, definitely the most stuff right here in this one section lots of old cans oh it's broken and sharp Oh, an insulator. Dominion. I think those were the Canada ones. And it's got a 42 on it, so is that the year? Probably. Oh, I see some blue stuff here. Hey! Almost a good find. It's broken. What is this? It's like some kind of plastic coffee cup or something, but there's writing on the bottom and it's really cool. Um, I'll see if I can get a close up of this. <sighs> Blows my mind when you take the time to look at stuff. Just, just wait. Okay, so there's a name here or something. I don't know what that says. Tromano. And Ed Hone P. Patented 43. So that's the date, I would assume. Here's the cool part Social and Industrial Justice Theodore Roosevelt. Some kind of American import, whatever it was. I don't know. It's like plasticky. And 43. Found another one. So there's two Teddy Roosevelts, whatever they are. <laughs> Yeah, another bottom to an old shoe. Norwood. See if we can uh, look that up online when we get home. Two and a half. Two and a half what? What is this? 60 below freezing, flows freely. Got to be some kind of antifreeze for something. It looks like a pump on there or something. I don't know what that is supposed to be with the open bowl on top of it. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, I see some goodies buried here. Something looks more substantial. Do you see this? It's not a can. Here's a can beside it. Oh, it's heavy. I'm going to have to get my shovel. That is exactly what I thought it is. It's the leg off of an old stove. And it's actually pretty ornate.
coolest find so far. It's in like mint condition, guys. That would be something you could definitely, if we had some more pieces, bring back to life. Yeah, it's not an old stove leg, so meh. Well, oh, I see another old bottle here. Whoa. It's not a screw top. Heinz. I'm actually making my way back up the hill at this point. Very steep. Ah, last time I was here, I found this piece. So I have definitely come down this section before. Really cool. Too bad it's broken. The lid to a candy dish or something fancy schmancy. Well, it's complete. It's not broken. It's got white powdery stuff in there. And it's a very thin glass. I don't know what that is. Chunks of something in there. I can tell from the shape of this one that it's a 1930s bottle. I don't know if it was like a talcum powder in there or something. There's like a J on the bottom of the bottle. No date. That's not even a J. It's I don't know what this is. I'll show you. You see that? I don't know, it's like, a, it almost looks like an anchor or something. I think I need to get the shovel and dig. There seems to be a lot more glass right here at this level. Oh, it's got a pin back. What is it? Uh, some kind of pin. Nope, lost to history. There is no cleaning that. It is an iron front pin and it's just corroded beyond. Look at this. A little tin. Should we open it? Yeah. It's empty, but there is writing in there. Let me get my brush out. Let's see if we can read it. Might tell us what this tin was for. Well, can you guys make that out? C O N something M Y. And then down at the bottom, there's a scent symbol right there. No idea what that was for. Look at that, some old razor wire. It's basically a heavy-duty barbed wire type. I don't know why that would be in here. Well, there's one with uh, the 1940 content still in there. I don't know. <laughs> so most of the stuff I'm looking at coming down this hillside, 1930s and 1940s, but you do see the odd piece of old 1880s blue glass. Uh, we found stuff here before that was definitely turn of the century. But I can't dig anywhere. It's as hard as rock and the angle, it's just very difficult. I don't think there's anything buried really. It's only a couple inches deep coming down this hill. So is there an older dump here somewhere that I'm just missing that uh, they used before the 1930s and 40s? Let's take a look around. Who knows? Who knows what we'll find? The old baby carriage. Showed you guys that from last time we were here. Again, 1930s, 40s. State-of-the-art suspension for your child. <laughs> Hope they took the baby out of that thing before they pitched it over the edge. 1940s coffee press. I have found this in the dump behind my house, which is a 1930s dump as well. I believe that these are anchovies. Little anchovy man there, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so we're going to leave this uh, bottle dump slide behind. And what I want to do is there's a nice little river here. Um, and I know there's a homestead up, you know, half a mile if we follow it up. But I've never actually walked along the edge and just looked and seen. There might be other artifacts. There might be another dump site in here. Who knows? Let's just go explore. Beautiful creek anyway.
Well, there is a bit of metal that's been washed down the creek. Nothing uh, important, just junk. Gage likes it here. So do I. So Gage and I are just coming off the river here and there's quite a bit of ground that we can detect up in here and there are signals. So I've got a piece of wire here, nothing exciting. I'm not going to show you guys unless it's something good. So I'm going to I'm going to do all of this in the next half an hour, 40 minutes and see if there's anything good, an old axe head or anything else. Okay, so next hole right at my feet. I just flipped this out, but I'm getting a signal, and that's not it. That's like old stoneware. So that's like turn of the century, and there's something was inside the stoneware. Oh, there's a little piece of glass down there too. Oh, it's a gear. Look at that! We're still right on the edge of the creek here, so somebody lived here. I know, like I say, a quarter mile up here, there is an actual stone foundation, but what is that? And what is it doing out here in the middle of nowhere? I'm gonna keep detecting. Okay, so there's more in this hole here. I'm still getting a signal, but... What? Oh, it's a lid. Nope. Not a lid, it's the bottom. What is it? Let's clean it off. There's writing. Ha! It's got cows on it. McLaren's Imperial Trademark Cheese. RQSD, I think, and then there's a couple of cows. So, cheese came in that? <laughs> I guess? I've got a really good feeling about this spot, guys. Like, we're digging up old homestead stuff right here, and, I mean, it's nice and open. Mm. He entertains himself. That's all I can say. Carry on, Gage. Alrighty, look what I just pulled out here, guys. You know what that is? That's the top plate off of a harmonica. I know because this fell out as I picked that up. This is the the reed, well not the reed part, but the part you blow on. Let's brush this uh, off and see if we can get a name and a date maybe. Something trade, I see the word trade right there. Wow, I brushed this off, check this out guys. I don't know if it says Milner, I think it's Milner. But look at the dates on here. Trademark Philadelphia, so it's 1881, 1876. Over here we have 1873, 1871. Those are all trademarks, I guess. Milner. I've probably found a hundred of those metal slats with the holes in them that hold the reeds down for the harmonicas. I've never found the outside plate. This is a first, guys. 
So I'm going to take that home and put that in the hoard because the hoard consists of history, right? So I think that's cool enough to go in the hoard. And in that same hole is an old square nail. There were lumber camps all through here before the railroad, and I'm assuming that's where that harmonica came from. And the square nail, it seems older. Um, they were obviously using the creek as a source of water, probably drinking and washing, washing clothes, whatever, whatever they needed to do. So I'm going to keep going here. There's some cool stuff I'm finding. Definitely some history right here, guys. Oh, look what I just found. A really ornate old suspender. Oh, that's awesome. In the same hole as that square nail. Look at that. That is history. Some old logger wore that on his suspenders. Alright, that came out of the same hole as the suspender. Is that a pocket watch piece? It's copper. Or is it part of a lantern? I'm not sure. Well, there's another little gear. So definitely a pocket watch buried in this hole as well as all the other stuff. An old piece of leather with the rivet still in it. Geez, did they bury this guy here? Well, that one's got me stumped. I don't know what it is. We're still in the same hole here. It's solid. Huh, there's another great big square nail. Same hole. We're working on the same hole. There's another one. Look at They look as good as the day they were made. Were they even used? I don't know. <laughs> it's confusing. All right, there's a big one. I think I'm going to have to end the day here, guys. I'm still digging in the same hole. We're two feet down there now. Um, but there's all kinds of area that I haven't even got to. I've literally dug three holes here. I think I'll get a hold of John and him and I will come back and we'll do this uh, area together. There's probably enough stuff to keep us both busy for a day, so that's the plan. Uh, Gage and I are going to head out, but we'll catch you guys in the next adventure. Thanks for joining us.